After four years of planning, months of consultation, public information sessions, 250 submissions, then public hearings, our walking and cycling strategy was adopted last May. It focuses on providing safer walking and cycling options for residents. It sets a framework for the creation of a high standard of connected cycle networks and includes improvements for pedestrians such as safer crossings on busier roads and near schools. This will not only create a safer transport environment and improve the health and well-being of our residents, but will also help reduce congestion and carbon emissions. We joined this group of regular users on the first pilot layout of separated cycle lanes, which came out of Waka Kotahi Streets for People program. That's underpinned by our walking and cycling strategy. So what do they think of the new layout? They're pretty good, very smooth. I quite like them. So it makes the ride a lot safer for bikers, which makes it easier for the for building confidence on the road. They're very wide and good for like if if you're um, if there's two people and you want to go together, it's really wide and you can do that. I've talked about it with my friend a bit. Um, we have some thoughts on how it could get better, but it's good for a start. Like on the actual bike path, a bit further down, there's bus stops and car parks on the actual cycle lane. So it's a cycle lane until it's a car park. Well, I like the bigger bike paths. And I would recommend like putting, making the ones that are smaller a little bit bigger so no cars can just crash into you when they want to pass you. I feel really safe now that there's those um, white poles. It feels better. Further down it is a tiny bit bumpy so I think maybe make that a bit smoother and it would be good. I think it's definitely improved the safety especially um, in the area where there's just in front of the intermediate where there's used to be car parks and I've seen like multiple cars just pull out in front nearly hitting cyclists before but with the new barriers it's definitely a lot safer there. Targets within our walking and cycling strategy will result in a much larger proportion of journeys to work and school by either walking or biking over the next 15 to 20 years. The strategy was key to obtaining streets for people and transport choices funding and as a result we now have these cycleways being trialled in Richmond. So in a rating out of 10, what do our users really think about this pilot project? Um, I'll give it a 9 out of 10. Yeah. About a six. Eight out of ten. I think it's a good nine. A uh, five, maybe a six. There's quite a bit of room for improvement. Probably about nine-ish. 